Hi everyone, welcome to another roller skating vlog wherein we actually talk about crafting in this episode. So I am crocheting right now. And no, this isn't like a pasty or something. It's a roller skate toe cap or toe guard. So um, I, I bought some new roller skates. <laughs> uh, okay, so I bought a second pair of roller skates. I found the Moxie Lollies used on eBay for a pretty decent price and uh, I went for it and I got them. So they're arriving today actually. They're the, the so my roller skates are the Moxie Beach Bunnies, which are the PVC like vegan friendly ones and they're they're like least expensive skate. And they're really great and I love them but I've kind of been obsessed with wanting to try their suede skates too. And their like flagship skate is the Lolly and it's it's a much more flexible skate. The Beach Bunny's very stiff and the Lolly's very flexible and it's made out of suede. And I got a pair. I got the strawberry color, which is pink. And they're coming today. Now my Moxie, my Beach Bunnies came with toe caps, but these ones don't. And I do like wearing, you don't have to wear toe caps or toe guards. It just kind of protects the toe of the skate, which is a part that can easily get scuffed, which isn't something, I don't care about scuffing like aesthetically, <laughs> but what I do kind of care about is the seam that runs right down the front. I kind of want that to stay safe. So my options are to either buy some toe guards or make them. And there are lots of patterns on the internet about how to make toe guards. Uh, a lot of people use suede fabric to make them and they use like rivets and stuff. Uh, I decided to crochet them. That way I wouldn't have to buy any extra equipment or fabric or anything. So I just thought I'd give it a shot. I found a recipe, a recipe. I found a pattern online uh, through Gleeful Things, which is a blog. I'll link it down below. I'm also going to create a Ravelry project page. Um, but I liked the look of these crochet ones the best. I thought they were kind of nice and tight and compact looking. And um, it's been pretty simple. It's a really easy pattern and I've been enjoying it. I'm using Knit Picks Dishy, which is the worsted weight cotton in, I don't know what colorway this is. I have no idea. It's teal. It's, I had teal or red, and with my pink skates, I figured teal would be better. But I might try to make more, because they're so simple. I'm using my tulip hook, which is uh, a hook that I just stole from my granny stripe crochet blanket. It's a three and a half millimeter. And uh, I'm just sitting here waiting for them to arrive, crocheting, <laughs> crocheting the toe guard.
so I got some new skates. <laughs> They're new to me. I found some Moxie lollies used on eBay and I'm pretty excited about it. So the skates that I was using before were the Moxie Beach Bunnies, which are their synthetic skates. And these ones are their nicer boot. So they're suede. It's their nicest, but they're nicer, but not their nicest skate. And uh, the other one is the Jack boot, which I actually really want now too. But these are really, really amazing. It's really nice to have the suede. I got the pink ones, the strawberry, just because that's what I found. I kind of scoured the internet for used Moxie either lollies or jacks in my size for a while and decided that if I found a pair that was going for a reasonable price that I was willing to pay, I might get them. So I found these. They were a really, really good price and they were hardly used at all. And I have a pretty uncommon size. It's a size four, so I think that's a more rare size. So it was pretty easy to find it for not that much. And they're great. I still really like my beach bunnies a lot, but I like these ones a lot too. So these ones came with the Moxie gummy wheels, but I skated on them a couple times, decided I didn't really like them. So I put on my Radar Energies instead. The Moxie gummies are enormous, so they're way they're 65 millimeter as opposed to, I think these are 62. So they're a lot wider in diameter and they're a lot wider this way too. <laughs> they're just really, really big and I don't know, I like these a lot better. So I put these on and I think I might try to sell the gummies. I'm not sure, but I love everything about these except for this tongue always slips to the side. And if I'm doing like a longer trail skate, it'll slip all the way, all the way down and actually really start to hurt. So I'll have to stop and adjust it. So I have to figure out how to get this to not slip anymore. This one's always fine. But I think they're beautiful and I'm really happy with them. So I came out to this, my local half court after work today and uh, I'm just kind of skating around. I feel really lucky there's no one here, which is really, really great because I kind of hate skating in like a street or a parking lot where there's just people there. So literally as soon as I was saying, it's really great, there's no one here, a whole bunch of people showed up, including a guy walking his dog straight toward the half court and also a dude with his two daughters with two basketballs. <laughs> They were really polite and asked if they could share the court, but I decided I'd been skating for a little while and I decided to leave because I, I, in my mind, the people at the half court to play basketball have more of a right to it than I do. Plus it's a half court. It's tiny. So, um, but I'm home now. And so <laughs> I'm going to finish telling you what I was telling you before. So I, I think where I left off anyway was that. I feel like I've pretty much gotten down transitions, uh, which is what I was working on previously. That was kind of my goal was to be able to do a transition. I can do it really pretty well now at pretty slow speeds. I still can't do them really fast. Like if I'm going like a normal speed, like trail skating, I won't even try it, but eventually I'll get there. And the thing, that really made it click for me was this one YouTube video that I'll try and find and link to. I don't, it was like a one-off thing that I found on Reddit and it was a rollerblading video and it was this guy breaking down transitions for rollerbladings, for rollerblading in a way that kind of the thing that he said that made it eventually work for me was that, was the transfer of weight to your second foot. So after you've done the turn, like I could kind of do the turn, but I still didn't feel like I was doing a full transition properly. I felt like I was kind of just turning around. Once you complete the turn, your back foot needs to have the weight transferred completely onto it. And then that, I don't know, something like that. You can watch the video if I find it. <laughs> but something about that final weight transfer really made it work for me. So the thing that I'm working on now is backward skating. That's kind of my next goal of a thing I want to start mastering. So I was working on that today 
and it's going pretty good so far I can backwards bubble and what I really want to be able to do is I don't know what it's called but it's like where your feet go like and then it looks kind of snaky to me so I've been kind of working on that I don't really know the mechanics of it uh, I've watched quite a few backwards skating videos and tutorials and uh, yeah getting getting the hang of it so far definitely another thing where it's like I can do it pretty good slow and eventually hopefully I'll be able to do it like at quicker speeds I would love to be able to be going down the trail and I, I, I trail skate pretty frequently so we have a pretty long like bike walking path in Arcata where I live it's like gosh I don't know it's a few miles long and at least uh, so I go do that trail about once a week in the evenings after Lucy goes to bed and so yeah, I think it would be really nice to go down that trail at like a normal skating speed and just go like transition to going backwards and go backwards for a little while and then go forwards so I don't know it's kind of my goal but now that I'm not wearing any them anymore I thought I'd show you my lollies so these are my brand new skates and I really like them they're definitely they feel a lot different than the beach bunnies because they're a lot more flexible the suede is a lot more flexible than the synthetic material is the beach bunny boot is really really stiff and this is really really not stiff so there's a lot more support in the beach bunnies and there's not that much support in these in terms of like ankle support uh, but I like them both they both feel good. I feel like they're gonna feel good for different things. I've also been going to the skate park every once in a while and I think I'm gonna keep using the beach bunnies for the skate park and these more for out on the street. And since I'm home, I also went out and grabbed one of the Moxie gummy wheels that came with this skate to show you the comparison. That is the difference. So the gummies are really, really big and here's the comparison that way. And yeah, I don't know. I just did not like riding on these. They felt very awkward. And I'm, I, got, I skated on them maybe a half a dozen times. And so I felt like I did get used to them a little bit, but I still didn't, I just didn't like them as much as these. I like that these are a little smaller. They're not the smallest wheels you can get, but I think it's a nice middle ground for me. And I don't know, these just feel really good. So I took these off. And I think I'm going to clean them up, see what they look like. I don't know. Maybe try to get rid of them. I haven't decided yet. But, yeah. These are my new skates. Um, so the tongue thing. So the tongue slips from side to side for me on one skate. And I have done some research and found out that a good thing to do in that situation is to get waxed laces. And the, wet, the laces that come with the lollies are not waxed. So I think I'm eventually going to try to invest in some wax laces. They're like 10 bucks, I think. They're not that much. So hopefully that'll help. I also found a YouTube video uh, of a guy who relaced his shoes so that one of these little lace things goes inside the tongue. So it kind of like holds it in place that way. So I might try that. I'm not sure. Uh, and then I really just wish it had like a lace stabilizer right here, like a, a little extra piece of fabric or something to where you can slip this lace through to hold it in place. Uh, some shoes have that, the Moxie Jack boots have something like that. I know I can add one, I can sew one on, but I don't really want to mess with them at least right now. So, we'll see. So, these are my new skates and, uh... I love both my beach bunnies and these, so I'm happy to have them. I was also really happy to find them used because as you may know, if you are a roller skater or have been looking for roller skates recently, uh, there's a shortage of stock on roller skates right now, especially Moxies. They're made to order. These suede ones are made to order uh, at a factory in the United States, the Rydell Roller Skate Factory, and they have put a stop on orders right now because they're so backed up on 
on manufacturing the skates. So you can't really get these right now unless you find a store that randomly has them in stock because some stores are still getting stock, but they're really, really hard to find right now. Uh, so I feel really lucky to have found them used and in really good shape. And I'm probably going to keep scouring the internet for used jack boots because those are really nice. I tried them on once. One of my friends who I skate with has the jack boots and she's my size. She would also wears a size four in skates. And so we traded skates halfway through one trail skate and they're amazing. They feel really good. These feel good, but the jack boots feel like great. So am I getting a little obsessive? Perhaps, but anyway. Okay. I will leave you there. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.